Hello, everybody, and welcome to Learn Centers of Excellence 2020 Virtual Summit, State of the Art Lymphatic Medicine. I'm Kathy Bates, and it's my honor to serve as the national spokesperson for the Lymphatic Education and Research Network. Bill Rapisi and Dr. Stan Roxon are my heroes because they refuse to take no for an answer. Instead, along with their colleagues, they have taken on the impossible dream of eradicating lymphatic disease in our lifetime. In 2012, I had a bilateral mastectomy and developed lymphedema in both arms. I was grateful to be cured of cancer, but after learning I had an incurable disease and that I was facing a lifetime of treatments and compression garments, I felt like my life was over. And then I met Bill, when he told me that millions of Americans suffer with lymphedema and lymphatic disease, I was stunned. I couldn't comprehend why nobody knew what it was, why it was virtually off the radar of the medical community, why patients went undiagnosed for years without help while their disease only got worse. I'd never been a spokesperson before, and I told Bill, you know, I'm not sure I know what I'm getting myself into, but I'm willing to try. So I joined LEARN to do what I could, to pull back the curtain and bring lymphatic disease into the spotlight and keep it there. While Bill was pursuing funding for research, he was inundated with emails from people who were hurting. They had no resources and nowhere to turn for help. He did his best to connect each individual with therapists and doctors, but Often there was little he could do other than respond with loving encouragement and empathy. So he did, and he has never let anyone down. Through our network, we have connected countless patients with each other. And over the past five years, I've met many of them. Terrific human beings with dignity and good humor. Despite having to manage their lymphedema 24-7 and the physical and psychological toll that takes, they live full, productive lives. They're courageous and determined to fight back against the ignorance and blindness of their doctors, to fight the desire to hide or the urge to just give up. I met their families and partners because when someone has lymphedema, their families bear the burden too and to witness the tender, unwavering support of their loved ones is truly humbling. For the last two years, we gathered in our nation's capital from all over the US. We lobbied congressmen and senators. We gathered on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial and shared our stories with one another. We marched around the reflecting pool in solidarity. We became a community with a shared purpose but it was always clear that LEARN needed to connect the medical community with the patients. So in 2018, LEARN took on the challenge of developing standards for centers of excellence in the diagnosis and treatment of lymphatic diseases. Esteemed world leaders in lymphatic healthcare volunteered their time and talent to bring this to fruition. Now, we have 25 learned centers of excellence that will provide comprehensive state-of-the-art care so that patients will be able to get help early before the disease gets too difficult to treat. Centers at Stanford University School of Medicine, Keck Medical Center of USC, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, Texas Children's Hospital in Houston, the University of Chicago, just to name a few. The list is too long to mention all of them. You'll hear presentations from many of these institutions during the summit. And after the announcement of our current centers, several other top medical institutions worldwide have contacted LEARN and now aspire to creating centers of their own. I'm over the moon to see what has been accomplished in such a short time. And I'm so proud to be a part of this progress. In closing, I know Bill and Stan join me in thanking all of you for being with us and for staying the course. Because of you, we're able to answer a heartbreaking email with the words, yes, we know just where you can go for help. 
right this way.